Escaping and shooting is like any other sport. If you get the basics right, the rest of it will follow. If you don't get the basics right, you will hit a few, but you will reach a certain standard and it won't go any better. What we suggest to our customers is that they do three steps. The first step is you point your front foot where you're going to shoot. The second step, the end of the game in your line of vision. Third step, touch your cheek. As soon as you put the gun in your shoulder, what do you do with your head? There's no way for it to go except here somewhere. So, when you mount a shotgun, forget your shoulder, touch your cheek. Now, when you fit a gun to somebody, your head should be three fingers from the front of the comb. It's amazing how many people come to us and want to put their head there because they're quite long in the neck, high cheekbones. So what then tends to happen is that you do that, then you put your head there. If your head is moving forward with the gun, if your head is going forward, it can't go sideways. So when you mount the gun, forget your shoulder, touch your cheek. If you touch your cheek, your back sight, which is your eye, should be there. If every time you touch your, your cheek, your eye is there, then we can put a bit of cast on the gun to bring it over to be correct. But as soon as you start putting the gun in your shoulder, then it goes wrong. The other thing that happens when you put the gun in your shoulder, if you put the gun in your shoulder, puts your weight on your back foot. So your weight's on your back foot and your hip is out. What that then does is, bam, you've got no control over the gun. If your weight is on your front foot, then you've got control of the gun and you use that front foot as your pivot to turn on.